Okay, so we are here in Model S. It's been a few since we've done a Model S video, but we got version 10 in the Model S, and um, it was a little lackluster for me. Yeah, it had a few new things, but it was missing a lot of the things we've been hearing out for, for like the it last was. few months. So we kind of want to go over that and talk about some differences. This is a 2017... 100D Model S with Autopilot 2, not 2.5, not full self-driving, and it does have the original MCU 1. Uh, so we wanted to go over a couple of these things, and I was starting to make a chart uh, with what everything included. And then we found, or you found one on Reddit, and we'll go ahead and link it down below. Huge thank you to them. Go ahead and show them what it like looks like. And it's Tesla Software version 10 by like Autopilot and MCU. So huge thanks to them for helping me do all my work because then I didn't have to do it. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and link it all down below and it'll be up on the screen. So huge thanks to them for doing that. But there's a lot of things, or at least several things that we don't have in this car that I wish we did. So we kind of want to go over that real quick. Well, one thing that came out before even version 10, which we got on Saturday, yep. was Century Mode. Yeah. Which came out, I think, like February of this year for Model 3, Model X, and Model S. Yeah, it's been like six months. But for older cars, like mine, Autopilot 2 with MCU 1, it doesn't do anything really. It doesn't no. record anything, or at least if it does, you can't record it on a USB drive, so yep. you, you can't re review those recordings. Supposedly, they are uploaded to Tesla. But if you can't get access to them, you don't know what was yeah. recorded on them uh, because of the Autopilot 2 hardware. It does yeah. work with Autopilot 2.5 and MCU 1, but it does not work with just Autopilot 2. Which is a huge bummer because Sentry Mode is, is a really good selling point, I think. And it's a very nice feature to have for those of you that don't want to have to install a dash cam. Yeah. Luckily, though, we did install a dash cam. We actually have a black view. It's right up here, actually. And um, it does really, really well records in 4k front and rear but it doesn't have like side cameras like the side repeaters like the sentry mode because sentry mode is kind of like two things there's like the dash cam feature yeah. and, and there's also sentry mode that records when the car is not driving yeah. so we can't see the sides of the car not with our dash cams or sentry mode so that is kind of a bummer i mean we could install additional cameras we but could that would be additional cost it's a nice little feature that they do have for those who do have autopilot 2.5 or above exactly so in one of the other updates that was a little bit more recently, Beach Buggy Racing came out. Unfortunately, we don't have that on this, but it's not due to the autopilot. It's due to the MCU-1. Exactly, because again, we do have two Model S's. The one with uh, autopilot 2.5 and MCU-1 still doesn't have it because that is exactly. software that runs on the MCU. Yep, and along with version 10, don't have Cuphead either. Exactly. Because that came out and that just requires some other things. But also, the one thing we did notice in this chart, though, is it says that MCU 1 and Autopilot 2 should have Spotify, but we don't. Yeah, that seems to be just a fluke with my yeah, car maybe it's a, a few other cars. I've seen a few people, very few people, yeah. are, have mentioned this problem. I'm not too concerned about it yet, but we didn't get Spotify for some yeah. reason. And, and just before everyone comments below... We have done the double scroll wheel reset and all that stuff. Times. So it's not like we haven't tried anything, but we actually did notice another fluke while going to dinner today. Yeah, we've I've seen several flukes since getting version yeah. 10. They're not huge. I'm sure they'll go away. And some of them are only for that drive and then they haven't returned yet. Yeah, like this one, it wasn't telling us the miles that we've driven or the watt hours, but it was still accumulating the time and the total odometer was still increasing. So it was kind of funky. So did the double scroll wheel reset and boom, everything populated mid drive. Yeah, that fixed that. Maybe there's a few the, bugs. Yeah, there's a few bugs. Luckily, it's nothing terrible. But uh, this whole version 10 thing with MCU 1 and Autopilot 2 cars capable of full self-driving is kind of a bummer. I mean, we still did get the smart summon and stuff like that, which is really cool. I'm a huge fan of Spotify, though. Yeah. I absolutely love Spotify. I, I'm i almost to a point where I want to sell my standard range plus Model 3 and buy an all-wheel drive just for Spotify. Oh, yeah, that would be a nice Just up for Spotify. That would be a nice upgrade. It would be a really nice upgrade. Just for Spotify. That's how much I love it. Yeah. But, um, but, if, but I mean, if you like music that much, you know, that's another thing we're missing out on is karaoke. 
That's I true. Mean, Come on. How are we supposed to make those bomb videos but, with karaoke? Yeah, but it's like, wow. I think the reason why we don't have it, it's not that the processor can't handle it. Uh -huh. It's that a lot of these media functions that they're doing are like based on the web browser. And the yeah. web browser on the older MCU is not up to snuff. Yep. The newer ones like based on Chromium, and it can handle stuff like Netflix and YouTube uh -huh. and karaoke and and they just didn't want, I think, put the time into making custom versions of the software yeah. for the older hardware. It would make us customers a lot happier, though. Yeah, yeah. It would be nice if we could upgrade. I'll say I that. mean, it would be very nice. Well, we did get a lot of other changes in version 10 as well, though. Yeah. We've got uh, Smart Summon, as Eric mentioned. Yeah, which, which is a great feature. We fooled around with it. It definitely still needs some work, but it, yeah. it is cool, and it just seems really fast. I was standing, I had it come down our driveway the other day, yeah. and it was very fast compared yeah. to the old stuff. And I will say, so I didn't do any videos on, like, beta software, because technically people sign NDAs on that. But I will say, I did get to see it and experience it, Months and ago, yeah. I will say the V10 Smart Summon is better than any of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so, so we also got the new improved driving visualizations, which yep. show where you're going to be moving into when you do those auto lane changes if you've purchased. At the time, it was enhanced uh, autopilot, but now it's moved into that full self-driving package. Yeah. But we have that, and it's cool to see where you're going to be moving in it is, and it now shows like trucks and yeah. stuff like that. So exactly. that is really nice. And also, a new feature, Lucky or Hungry. Not something I'll probably ever use, but it's a way for you to quickly see a, I mean, a local destination or a local like restaurant, I guess. Don't think I'll ever use okay, that. Okay, let's, let's do this. Let's do I'm Feeling Lucky and see where it takes us. The Skyline Beer Garden. Okay, I'm not a beer drinker, so that's not going to do me yeah, much. Yeah, and that's downtown. Okay. Oh, yeah, I don't go downtown either. <laughs> It's it's the traffic and was that just, lucky or hungry? That was just lucky. Oh. Now it's Vanderbilt Park. Yeah, I've never so been they, there. I guess these are just maybe like, we'll go to the park. Are these just places that people favorited then? Because see how there's 62 reviews. So are these like Tesla owners only that have done this? Maybe I don't know. A couple other enhancements are Joe mode. Basically, it lowers the uh, announce the sounds that are used to inform the driver when they've turned on autopilot or yeah. some of the other warning sounds. And it gets it's just so if you have kids or other people in the car, it won't blast the noise to the rest of the car. Great feature, but Joe Poorly mode makes made. me think I'm, it's going to take me to the nearest Starbucks. Yeah, coffee. They redid the application launcher, just means that they moved the icons around. It would be really nice if we could move those icons to wherever we want. Just kind of drag and drop, like you like can. like long press or something. Yeah, like you can on your phone. But th there's just unfortunately several things we didn't get. But now, if you have M MCU one, you're basically in the same boat. Even if you have two point five, like the red Tesla is in yeah. the same boat as this one, pretty much. Yeah, it Although is, it does have sentry mode. Yeah, it misses out on all the games and a lot of those karaoke stuff like that. Yeah. But it already had sentry mode. Yeah, it already had it. But, you know, I guess we're complaining a little bit. But, the, you know, the people who have slightly older cars than us that had only MCU 1 and Autopilot 1. Yeah, if you had Autopilot, no Autopilot 1, you're really missing Yeah, a they're lot. not getting a lot of stuff. Uh, to be honest, it's, it's still a great car. Don't get me wrong oh, yeah. by any means. Yeah, and we didn't have any of these features. We didn't expect any of these features right. when we got the car. The nice thing, though, is when we do get that new FSD computer since it had already been purchased, we will be getting sentry mode and stuff like that because everything will be changed over. Yeah. So that will be really nice, nice because that's a feature I actually really, really like. And we have heard that some people, very few, have started getting they upgrades started. from Autopilot 2.5 to Autopilot 3. Yeah. Haven't heard of Autopilot 2 getting upgraded yet. If you are no. getting that, let us know. Yeah, comment down below. Uh, because we are looking forward to that in, yeah. in this car. But uh, it is happening, so Tesla is fulfilling their promise on that. Yep. They are doing upgrades, so it's just a matter of time before they start rolling it out nationwide or worldwide. But yeah, we're also going to try to find out, because this is an MCU 1, we're going to see if MCU 2 would be possible in yeah. this car, and so that'll be like a future video, because yeah. that's going to take a lot more time than just a quick phone call or whatever. Yeah. So um, we'll be doing a future update probably on that. And Elon, you know, people have asked him because they were Elon tweeted, they've been waiting yeah. for the past year. When when the MCU was first upgraded back in early 2018, they said it's virtually identical, and that's yeah. because they hadn't added any new features yet. But as the last year and a half have progressed, yeah. there's been a ton of new features that have been have come available on uh, the MCU two. And people keep asking Elon, is it coming out for MCU 1, or, or is an upgrade coming out? And he keeps saying, yes, an upgrade's possible, upgrade's possible. Yeah. But whenever you call the service center, the answer has been, it's not possible yet. Yeah, so, I don't know, we'll uh, keep you guys updated on that, we'll check it out. Let us know down below if you actually got the FSD update. One of my friends I know did soft 
from uh, Twitter. Uh, we've raced with him and everything. He got it on his P100 DL. I actually took it in for like a HEPA filter change and they threw that in. So that's kind of a nice surprise. But I uh, haven't heard of any AP2 cars getting Not it. Because I think he had an AP25. And that, yeah, so, it, we know that it will take a little bit more than just swapping out the the board, the, yeah. the computer that's behind the glove compartment. Mm -hmm. It's going to take some, some other hardware changes as well. Yeah, so I mean, we'll keep you guys updated and everything, but... Something to look forward to, I guess. Oh, definitely. We'll say that. Because if, if we can get those features, this car will be, like, brought up, like, by two years. In, oh, totally. In the technology that we have. It'll, yeah. It'll be like a brand new car again. I mean, we'll, Pretty much. It, it'll be great. Yeah, it'll be really awesome. Because the exterior's been the same, everything. Yeah. Like, yeah, it'd be awesome. Okay, that's basically it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Just kind of wanted to give our V10 experience in the Model S. Should have a bunch of other V10 videos coming soon once I get V10 in the Model 3. But don't you have to order... Oh, that's another thing. Don't you have to order full self-driving to get it? Or are they prioritizing full self-driving fuel? So, will you get it? Maybe there's an update coming. I don't know. You're I don't have know. To, gonna, Model 3 update you're coming have to soon. You're going to upgrade, I think. Um, yeah, there'll be a Model 3 update coming soon anyway. So just... Uh, Hang tight, everybody. But yeah, that's basically it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. As always, huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. If you guys are looking to accessorize your Model S, X, or Model 3, definitely check them out. Linked all down below. And using code Tesla Inventory will get you 15% off your first purchase. And don't forget to stay tuned, though, because we have a lot of fun stuff from our China trip. I went to some factories. We went to the Gigafactory 3. A lot of other cool things yeah, coming. Solar update, power wall update, some Model S uh, update. updates. Model 3 update. Mo oh, big Model 3. We have yeah. so many updates, it's yeah. not even it's funny been right a, now. It's been a busy week. Wow. Like, no, like two and a half weeks. Yeah, but I mean, and just yesterday alone was like one of the biggest Tesla. Well, never mind. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that in a future video. Okay, bye. As always, though, thumbs up if you enjoyed that video. Go and click here to subscribe here for some other ones, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.